Well, today, environmental advocates are rallying to stop a new warehouse from being built in Barrio Logan, and that's a place with high asthma rates due to air pollution. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in front of the Port Administration building. There'll be a rally there today. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Eric and Netta. That's right. We're going to be hearing from frustrated residents in the area of Barrio Logan and National City. Historically, they've been plagued with toxic air quality from uh, companies as well as the freeway. So it's really no surprise that they're pushing back against the construction of a cement factory in that area. Now, we spoke to an environmentalist about what this means for this community. We don't have any information indicating that that project proposal has changed. Um, so EHC is working to make sure community members are aware that this is happening. Now that project she's referencing is the Mitsubishi Cement Corporation. It plans to build a warehouse at the Port of San Diego. The project would dramatically increase diesel truck traffic in an area where families have been known to get sick from breathing diesel polluted air. Now, according to the Environmental Health Coalition, Barrio Logan is in the top 5% most polluted areas in California, and its residents have 85 to 95% higher of a chance developing cancer than the rest of the U.S. Now, that's why they're pushing for clean air in southeastern San Diego, saying lives are at risk from excessive diesel pollution. Now, we did reach out to the Mitsubishi Cement Corporation, but they did not respond to our request for an interview. In a public meeting, the company did say they're working to find new ways to use zero emission trucks and other emission reduction measures. However, it has yet to release any specifics on how they're going to do that. Now, bringing it back to today, San Diego's Port of Commissioner, uh, the Port of San Diego, excuse me, Board of Commissioners will be meeting to discuss the cement warehouse while community activists environmentally friendly advocates, educators, faith leaders will all hold a rally here urging the end of this consideration. Uh, they're really trying to stop it before even the construction is approved. Of course, as this is developing, we'll continue to cover. Uh, you can find further updates on CBS8.com. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Pacific Highway. Henry, thank you. A man is safe this morning after he was swept away by the flooded San Diego River. This happened around 8.30 last night. Authorities say the man was leaving Fashion Valley Mall and tried to cross the river to get back to his apartment when the rushing water swept him down the river about 30 feet. Crews set up a rope system with a small boat to bring the man back to safety. Other than being cold and wet, the man wasn't hurt. And we now know the name of the man detectives say shot a San Diego police officer. We brought this to you as breaking news throughout the morning yesterday. Investigators say 21 year old Andrew Garcia sped away in a stolen car during a traffic stop. They say he eventually stopped, ran away, shot an officer and then broke into a townhome on 44th Street and locked himself inside. This was in Mountain View, prompting that hours long standoff. Officers arrested him about nine hours later the officer who was shot went into surgery and is now recovering. Police say the officer's bulletproof vest likely saved his life. This morning, University of California academic staff headed back to work following a new labor agreement. This five-year agreement ratified on Friday gives pay hikes of up to 29%, more family leave, child care subsidies, and strengthens job security. This applies to about 12,000 postdoctoral employees and academic researchers who started striking a month ago. Thousands of graduate students, they still remain on strike. NASA's Orion capsule will be in San Diego this morning. The historic Artemis 1 mission ended Sunday as Orion splashed down off the coast of Baja, California. Crews loaded it onto the USS Portland, and that ship will be arriving to Naval Base San Diego today around 9 a.m. So now Artemis 2 is scheduled to orbit the moon in 2024, this time with astronauts on board. And then by 2025, NASA's Artemis 3 hopes to return Americans to the moon for the first time in 50 years to establish a base on the moon for deep space exploration. So this was just all mm -hmm. part of the plan Amazing. here. Step one of three and San Diego was involved. We have to see <laughs> that uh, being hauled back in here to right. San Diego soon. A couple I hours. love that. In a few hours from now, we'll keep an eye out on the bay yes. as the uh, ship brings it in. I love that the finale is here yes. in our town. Love that. Uh, San Diegans are heading out to our local mountains today, all to check out the snow. Yes, CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Julian, checking out the conditions there. Good morning to you. How's it, how's it feeling out there? Cold. 
Yeah, guys, I mean, it's uh, it's cold, it's wet, and we've got that white stuff on the ground. Not kind of snowing down, not coming down at the moment, but if you look at the tops of some of the buildings, you'll see that fresh blanket of snow probably from some of that overnight fall or uh, however long it's been going. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice here up in Julian at the moment. It's actually uh, not quite as cold as I was sort of uh, envisioning, but at the same time, it's always a great time to get out here to the mountains to see some snow. Now, traffic going up here, non existent Existent. We were really one of the only uh, kind of cars on the road heading up here, but I got to imagine that when people start to see that we have some of this white stuff here on the ground and on the roofs, they will start to make their way up here. So we always want to make sure that if you are going to be headed up to the mountains, to Julian, to Lone Pine, to make sure that you are prepared. Make sure, of course, that if you have a vehicle that's going to require chains to get up here, just pack them anyways, even if it's not being required, make sure you're paying to the paying attention to any kind of traffic warning that's going on and try to have some fun, especially if you're able to get this Tuesday off to come see the snow. And of course, Julian, even though it's cold right now, we can smell those pies being made at the moment. We know those Julian pie companies and mama pies and everybody else. They're going to be getting ready to open up their doors at 9 a.m. Probably expecting uh, some extra customers, if you will, especially here during the holiday season with people getting off to get up here to see the snow. So of course, we'll be live here on more to let you know exactly what we're seeing. But right now, it's quiet up here in cute little Julian. Uh, <laughs> the roads have been plowed, so it's easy to get up here. And uh, I, I got to say, you know, uh, as always, it is nice to see my one-year dose of snow. <laughs> uh, yes. Snow so in able San to get Diego. <laughs> the Florida kid always yeah. gets yeah. His, uh, his annual dose there. Mm -hmm. That's for sure, yeah. And once the pie company opens, then you'll feel a little warmer and cozier. Oh, that should warm you. Uh, Chris, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for bringing that to us. And you can still see that snow there on yeah. the sidewalk, on the rooftop. Say, there's another view of snow for you at Laguna Mountain Lodge. So, you know, uh, Julian got about three to six inches of snow. This area got eight to 12 inches, a foot of snow in Mount Laguna. Uh, so right now, as we're watching, there is still a little bit of snow activity. That pink, white that you see right over Palomar. Some slush coming through as the rain switches over into snow where it's very, very cold. It is very cold. Chris grows right. Uh, yeah, of course, up in the mountains, it's below freezing right now. In fact, Palomar's in the 20s, Julian in the low 30s. So below that freezing mark, some of that snow that you see on the sidewalk, the rooftops, that'll stick around. But through the afternoon, of course, as we reach the low 40s there, then it'll slowly start to melt. But still, it's hanging on. We're looking at remnants of a little bit of rain activity. This is pretty light through Escondido. Just a heads up on the 15, or if you're going on the 5 Del Mar, it may be just a little wet out there still. We got over an inch of rain, so obviously it'll take some time for our roads to dry up completely from the past couple days. We do have a frost advisory. This is something to note for inland valleys. So of course this is further inland you go, the colder it tends to get right up until the foothills. It's still very cold across our mountains, but no advisory there because mainly the damage could be done for these inland valley locations where there's more people, uh, sensitive plants that may be outside. Uh, if you left them uncovered, unfortunately, that's not the best conditions for them. Here's our view from Mount Woodson. As you look out towards the west, you'll see some cloud coverage out there where you saw a little bit of that light drizzle that's all coming in from that M most likely a coastal eddy has formed it looks like once we get daylight we'll get to see it better but it's 44 degrees along the coast so that's not necessarily the cold we're referring to it's inland here in the 30s where it's really uncomfortable 39 in El Cajon 39 in Poway 37 in Ramona 41 in Escondido and as I mentioned in the 20s for Palomar 31 in Julian which is why that warm apple pie will hit extra are good. Uh, 43 in Chula Vista. These are chilly temperatures for San Diego County. We're not used to this. Obviously, you'll want to stay bundled up the way Chris Grow is. We thought yesterday was a chilly day as a cold front came through. Well, today, temperatures have dropped even more. 5 to 19 degrees cooler here as some areas, especially our deserts, are uh, dealing with clearer conditions here this morning. Let's talk now about traffic. I do want to point out we're not seeing any major crashes out on our roadways. What we are seeing, though, will be a little bit slow going in the mountains. Uh, the good news is Chris mentioned not many cars joining him to get up to the mountains, at least not at 610 in the morning, but you are seeing a bit of slowing on Interstate 8. That's westbound headed towards Pine Valley. Uh, likely there there's construction and the icy conditions out there overnight when after we get snow, the roads can get black ice. So if you see that sheen on the roadways, especially places like Sunrise Heights,
highway, that's where people tend to spin out. So you'll want to make sure you have everything you need in your car uh, so that you're not stuck in conditions like that.